Over Thanksgiving, I was watching the local news when a breaking news story popped up. Someone stole a catalytic converter from a brush fire truck at a Mobile, Alabama fire station. At the time, I was wondering that it was so random and thought why people would do such a thing. Then after looking further into it, I noticed that this is a part of a growing recent trend. It has been happening in the past, but it's just happening a lot more now. On December 4th in Orangeburg, South Carolina, someone stole 17 converters from a Toyota dealership. Then in Missouri, there was 20 catalytic converters stolen throughout the Lawrence County neighborhoods. So I wanted to find out why this trend has grown so dramatically recently. The catalytic converter gets its name from the catalyst within the converter, converting harmful gases to something not so bad. There are several reasons why you may need to replace your converter. It can become clogged from burning too much oil or coolant. It can become damaged from going from a hot state to a cold state too quickly, cracking the metals within it, or whenever someone steals it, which is much more common than you might think. Why do people want to steal your converter? And why can it cost $2,000 to replace them? Well, stay tuned to find out. For the catalytic converter to do its job properly, it's made of expensive metals like platinum, rhodium, and palladium, which in this case are the catalysts. As you may or may not remember from high school chemistry, a catalyst is a substance that causes a chemical reaction to happen faster without the substance being used up. They are placed in two different honeycomb layers to achieve maximum surface area. And for maximum efficiency, these metals need to be nearly 400 degrees. These metals are separated into two catalyst chambers, a reduction chamber with just the platinum and rhodium, and a oxidation chamber with the platinum and palladium. Thus converting carbon monoxide, which is poisonous and basically gets rid of the ozone layer, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, which causes smog and acid rain, and hydrocarbons, which is unborn fuel, into, into O2, CO2, and H2O, which are much more palatable gases that are not nearly as bad. Basically, if that was confusing, it turns bad gases that your car creates from its combustion chamber into not as bad gases for the sake of the environment. Go planet! So why has the theft of catalytic converters increased within the past years and was 10 times higher in 2019 from 2018? Well, take a look at this graph. From 2018 to the end of 19, the cost of rhodium per ounce, yes, per ounce, has increased from $1,800 to $6,000 by the end of 2019. And now, in 2020, it's around $14,000 per ounce, which is insane and mainly due to COVID-19 causing a halt in automotive industry production. Within a typical converter, there's roughly 37 grams of RH, which is rhodium, PD, which is palladium, and PT for platinum, mixed together in different ratios per different catalytic converter manufacturers. And together, these metals are called the platinum group metals, or PGMs. These metals are also used in jewelry, electronic devices, and some industrial parts. So you basically have a diamond ring underneath your car. Since there is a rise of thefts, how would you know if it is stolen? Well, you will know. It's basically a loud exhaust leak because the theft hacks out your exhaust, leaving a gaping hole. So how could you prevent these thefts, especially since the price has been skyrocketing? Well, park in well-lit areas or park near well trafficked areas or if you have a garage obviously that would be the best choice you can install a security device onto the converter itself or calibrate your current car security system to go off during vibrations which would ensure the system to go off when the thief tries to saw off the converter catalytic converters are a necessity and if someone stole yours i apologize i'm sorry that had to happen to you Maybe you can buy one second hand and see if that helps you pass the missions. If this helped you out and you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more automotive content. 
This is Chris Unmotivate. Always appreciate and respect one another. I'll see you next time.